what is up you dingus and welcome back to another highly niche video about bassoon related things my name is bassoon friend and i am your bassoon friend and today i'm going to be taking you through my process of setting up my, my bassoon bullet journal. journal and i'm really excited to show you over the past few years i've started like journaling and then i stumbled into bullet journaling and i've just had a really fun time exploring all the possibilities of tracking my progress, making commentary on my practice, and then also reflecting at the end of a semester or in the end of a year. Through this video, I hope it inspires you to start journaling either through a spreadsheet on Google Docs or a piece of scratch paper, or maybe it inspires you to do an entire bullet journal like me. Either way, I hope it just inspires you. That's why I'm here today. It's actually quite rainy today and I love the rain. I'm just gonna put my little Put on, here we go. First, I just wanted to mention that there's really no wrong way to bullet journal. My first one was more like a diary or journal where I was like, Dear practice journal, today I was feeling unmotivated, but I still practiced and I practiced these scales. That's it. Um, so it can be as simple and as vague as you want it to be, or it can be highly specific and tailored to all these little details. Like say you wanted to work on Marriage of Figaro and you have like a little tracker about like tempo markings every day. That would be very specific. I don't know if I necessarily operate really well with really strict structures like some of the really intense bullet journal setups, but I have my own system I've created over the past couple years and I'm excited to show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna head up now and start my bullet journaling because it's a little rainy and I just saw a fox chasing a bunny and I don't want to be next. So yeah, let's do this. All right, here I am starting my main page. And currently I'm drawing a little staff with an orchestral excerpt because this semester I will be working a lot on orchestral excerpts with my teacher. And so I thought it was fitting for my main page of my bassoon practice bullet journal to have that excerpt on it. And so yeah, I'm just kind of doodling at whim here. I have some niche things like a ruler, reed water, music, a vocal, thread, mandrel, seed strap, coffee, and of course a quote that kind of helps me get through the semester once I see my main page. It's a very kind of general rule, uh, general quote, I can achieve my goals because I can, I can achieve my goals. So the next page I'm working on is my goals and my rep list or my repertoire list for the fall semester and I'll do the same thing for spring semester but I've been kind of playing around with this cool font that gives it a 3d kind of look so that's been really fun keeping it simple with it just a splash of color and this next page I totally forgot to document but here's the final product of it now moving on we have our warm-ups and the key Kind of like a key tracker if you will to make sure i'm playing all major and minor scales so again i'm using that font splash of color keeping it simple and now i'm working on my september practice tracker with the same kind of theme and concept so here i'm getting very specific with my goals i'm writing them down using just my natural handwriting maybe a little neater. Actually, it looks pretty much like that all the time. And so I'm making little bullets and doing the same thing for my rep list here. So I have the top is my ensembles and then I have my method books I'm working with and my solo works. And then finally the orchestral excerpts, which is a lot of them, as you can see, I just, continue to write more and more excerpts here and oops I forgot one solo it's a splash of color and moving on here I'm gonna write some of my important days to remember some of them are very specific and then a general meeting about when I'm meeting with my ensemble so I'm getting more specific with my warm-up routine here something my teacher and I have been working on for the last two semesters just developing all the skills feeling really well-rounded after practice. And then of course my key tracker here, all the major and minor keys, and I work through harmonic minor because of the way it works in the sequences. So it sounds major at the top. So I actually really like the way the key tracker came out um, because I ended up 
kind of um, alternating each row with a color which looks really cool and I'll, you'll see it on the final kind of product a little bit clearer. And then lastly I'm just documenting my little September practice tracker which is kind of monotonous with the ruler but you know we're all bassoonists we all have rulers just laying around so I'm sure you can find one and do the same thing. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm using a gridded journal, so they're like little dots, it helps a lot. So I'm filling in the first two days of September, it's actually September 3rd, a little brief run through, and now I'm pulling out the big all-stars here. The stickers are really what makes it kind of a fun activity for me. I have like a cool set of stickers, Lisa Frank, and some Pusheen stickers, which makes this part a little more fun than the rest. It's not as monotonous and tedious. So here's the final look. The main page, goals and rep list, important days and a little quote, lots of stickers, warm up routine and my key tracker, and my September practice tracker. So I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? That is it for this week, and I hope you enjoyed my bassoon bassoon experience. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like or even subscribe, only if you want to, and I'll see you next time for another highly niche bassoon-related video.